thank you for clicking this thumbnail. Today we've got the Think Tank Airport International camera bag. It's a roller, it's a suitcase style carry. Very good bag, a little pricey, but this thing's one of my favorite bags for traveling with camera gear and uh, holds a lot. In fact, it gets its name Airport International because this is a bag that carries the some of the most gear while still meeting international carry-on standards. Holds a lot, let's get into it. Hey, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kendrick Dish. I run a video production company called Vertical River and I like talking about bags on this channel. We also talk about some of the software and some of the tools we use to run a creative content making business. So if that's, that's your thing, hit subscribe. Now about this bag, this is one of my favorite bags. This is one of my favorite brands. Think Tank makes some of the best stuff and I have a ton of their, ton of their bags. A lot of them I haven't even reviewed on this channel and partly that's because they don't make those bags anymore and it's not, it doesn't make a lot of sense to review a bag that they don't make anymore. So I have a lot of stuff that I've collected over the years that I haven't reviewed, but if you click up here, I've got, it's up here. I've got a lot of, uh, a lot of Think Tank bags on my channel. So this bag, like I said in the intro, it meets international carry-on standards and it's well engineered and well designed and it's very durable. And there's a lot of things on here that are user replaceable. So they've made a really big effort to keep this bag as useful for as long as it can be. So let's look at some of those features that are user replaceable. Coming around to the backside, you've got these wheels, uh, these things that protect against the curbs. If you're pulling it upstairs or curbs or whatever, these things are user replaceable. The skid plate here, when you're dragging it up, something is user replaceable. The wheels themselves can be replaced. Uh, on this side, because it's uh, you know made for airline travel, this is a, a lock for your zippers. You can put both the main zippers and lock them in there just like that and the lock is user replaceable as well so uh, these feet as you can see it's got two wheels so you're meant to roll it like this but it's got these feet these are user replaceable as well so a lot of the things that are going to get uh, the most damage or the most use from wear and tear those are things you can just order new pieces and they will send them to you and you can put them on quite easily so that's really great Another, th another thing Think Tank does is they, each bag has a serial number. So if you register your bag with them and it ever goes missing and somebody calls and turns it in, they can help you get your bag back. So that's a really great feature. It's got a retractable handle uh, and the handle is really easy to use. I'm just going to hold it up. Comes out really quick. It goes back down. No issues. I've never had an issue with that. And if there's a problem, they'll, they can send you a new handle, I think, too. So that's all really good. At the top, there's a spot for a business card holder, or a spot for a business card. I seem to have, I took out my business card. For some reason, I think I gave it to someone, so I don't have my business card in there. But, uh, but you can put your business card in there or a label, say, lighting kit or camera kit or whatever you want right there. Let's talk about this pocket right here. This is a big, stretchy pocket that you can fit... Um, something like a reflector or a, or a magazine or a jacket or some paperwork. Um, it works well for that kind of thing. I, it's not secure, so I wouldn't put anything that you really need that's important in there, but it's nice to have this extra exterior pocket. But you also have this pocket, which is actually a lot of pockets in here. There's a lot of storage. This thing has a lot of depth. I wanna show you Something like this, this is just a little travel case, nothing's in there right now, but you can actually fit that in there and still get this zipped up because that pocket has some depth. So it's pushed pretty tight in there right now, but it does hold that. This pocket is also where you have access to the laptop and iPad pockets. Right now I just have the iPad Air, this is 11 inch ish iPad Air. And I don't have the laptop in there, but it's uh, a really nice laptop space. I do have uh, my clapboard in there. It's a good spot for the clapboard. 
goes in there just fine. So it's a good versatile pocket. Now, the other thing is if you did have a laptop in there and you did have the iPad and you had your clapboard, there's still another place to put it and that's in front of the iPad pocket, which is just as deep. That slides all the way down and it's that pocket goes all the way to the bottom. So you really have laptop, iPad, another thing that goes all the way down, plus this thing on the outside. And then of course, they've got a little bit of organization. Got a little bit of organization up here for pens or business cards or little note, notepads or uh, maybe a snack or something. So that's really nice. It's a good pocket. It holds a lot. That already is pretty great. This is a bag that opens clamshell style. Now there's positives and negatives to that. One of the negatives to that is it actually takes up more room on the floor or in a space that you're trying to work out of. If you got a bunch of bags laid out, you've got all your gear, this bag, this bag, this bag, uh, you know, it takes up more space. Whereas some bags uh, open up like this and, and hold. Like I've got another roller, another think tank roller that lifts up and just holds and it doesn't take up a bigger footprint. So that's something to keep in mind. Let's go ahead and open this guy up and you'll see what I mean. I have to roll it this way. And then this opens up like that. So I'm taking up almost twice the footprint of the bag just to have access to it. If you're at a wedding or you're at a corporate site or whatever, uh, space can be at a little bit of a premium. There's no straps that connect it so this thing can just stay up like that. That'd be a feature I would like to see in a bag like this, maybe some removable ones or something like that. You can hook them in and unhook them if you don't like it, but I'd like something where I can just have the bag stay like this. That'd be great. All right, so the moment you've all been waiting for, let's take a look inside the bag. I was afraid of that happening. That was my Canon. 24 to 105, uh, I'll have to check and see if it survived that fall or not. Uh, it looks okay, but uh, we'll have to check. Um, you know, what's funny is I, I did set up, I tried to set up a camera to look down because this bag is such a kind of a bag that needs to be looked at from the top. And uh, I just couldn't quite get something that was to my liking. But now I'm rethinking that I need to get something I can mount up here and shoot down. Okay, let's try this again. I raised my camera up a little bit. I should, you should be able to see into the bag a little better without me throwing my stuff all over the floor. So you can see that I've got two camera bodies in there, both of them with lenses attached. And then I got a bunch of other lenses, a bunch of other stuff in here. Let's talk about these things. Think Tank always comes with plenty of dividers. They they have always have a lot of dividers. In fact, I have I have so many Think Tank bags and so many dividers. I have a whole tub in my storage area just of Think Tank dividers. So they got all sorts. Um, this guy has some with the U shape cut out so that you can put the the lens and the body in there together. That's two of those. So that's pretty good. I've got mine set up for a little bit more of a video style uh, job, video gig. Um, so I've got the two bodies and and I've got the central uh, area here and that's where I've got, um, that's the cables for my monitor, but I've got a video monitor right there. And so that works out really well for having that in that spot. And then I just got a couple other little things tossed in the bottom there, uh, an adapter. In here, I've got a, cam a Canon camera, and underneath the camera, I had a, uh, one of these guys. On this side, I've got a Fuji camera with a grip, so that's important for you to know that it is tall enough to support a gripped body. And then underneath that, I've got a carry strap, and then on this side, I had a lens. Well, let's, let's keep looking. Over here, I've got a lens. And then another lens. 
and then another lens over here got my filter pack and then underneath that another lens on this side I've got Canon lens a big boy and then underneath that I've got my Fuji charger and then I have the micro uh, road deity or a deity uh, duo just for reference audio obviously this can be divided up and, and re velcroed a whole bunch of different ways but one of the tricks I wanted to show you uh, that I this is just a hack for velcro bags is I actually take you know if you've got one of these that has velcro on both sides and you just want to create a flap just tape the the velcro down and then you've got a flap that doesn't get stuck on anything and it works as a divider so when you can stack so I've got layers of lenses I've got a lens a flap lens flap lens flap and that just protects everything really well all right let's talk about these pockets these pockets are clear so you can see all of your things which is really nice I've, they've got some depth to them quite a bit of depth this one's got a lot of cables and overlapping things this one is perfect for filters i've got some batteries in here little doodads uh some swag for my company and so they uh they're not mesh but they're like a, a vinyl-ish kind of material and so they're solid and they got a little bit of, and they're great and the zippers what you'll notice is that the zippers on these pockets have a little house little garage zipper garage lots of other bags have that too but it's just a safety mechanism so that your the metal parts of the zippers don't rub on the gear the camera gear that's in here if you had a little zipper that was just constantly rubbing on the top of the camera you'd get a wear spot and so it's good to have that metal tucked away in those little zipper garages really smart thinking that's really it for the inside these things are durable no issues the zippers are ykk zippers you don't never gonna have any real problems with the ykk zipper top of the line zippers now let's talk about handles you've got really big comfy padded handles on on this side and at the top you also have a handle on the bottom that you can grab and on the sides you have areas that you can attach things to so I actually have a um, I have this set up to be able to hook a tripod into you put a leg in the tripod here and you wrap your strap around the top of the tripod and you're good to go there light stand it also works well for a light stand one other thing I want to point out up here on the top is there is a built-in there's a built-in security cable and you can you can tie this you know loop this around a, a bench or a, or a table or a chair or a you know another bag or a, you know anything that's not going anywhere and you can lock you can lock this all and make it more secure and that's just you know do it at your own risk if you have to leave your bag somewhere like maybe at a wedding it's a good idea but i would say just be careful with your bag at all times and this is hopefully just a a deterrent that you don't have to use very often but it's there as needed okay so let's add up the lenses we've got one two three four five six seven eight nine nine lenses two bodies a, a video monitor a, a microphone and some filters and whatever is in those pockets up top and, and a card and that is a lot of stuff that's mostly what i would need uh camera wise for for a solid shoot now there are bigger cases but for carry-on this is a really good bet if you enjoyed this video i got a ton of other bag reviews on this channel including a bunch from think tank and many other major brands so i hope you enjoy hit subscribe i'll catch you guys on the next one